Welcome back, everyone. Before I completely wrap up this discussion about equipment, I want to talk a little bit about dark rooms and dark boxes. This is a piece of wet plate equipment that you may not need, but if you do need it, it will be immensely helpful. So, a lot of people ask, do I need a dark room to shoot wet plate? And the answer is, a dark room definitely doesn't hurt, but it's not necessary, and it may not even be helpful to you if your goal is to shoot wet plate in the field. The reason for that is that wet plate is a wet process. The plate has to remain moist in order to be used and processed. So from the time that you take a plate out of the silver nitrate bath and load it into the plate holder, depending on humidity, you're typically going to have from around 10 to 15 minutes to shoot the plate, bring it back into the dark room, and develop it. If you miss that window, the plate will dry out and it will not be usable. Uh, you won't be able to develop the image. So if you have an actual dark room, you can certainly use it for wet plate. It's a very convenient thing to have, but you're going to have to shoot fairly close to your dark room. If you don't have a dark room, or if you just want to shoot out there in the field where there's not going to be a dark room available, you're going to want a dark box, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a box with a dark inside that you can either put your entire self into or your hands into to process a plate without fogging it. So if you have a dark room, you already know how to use it. So let's talk about dark boxes. Now a dark box can be very sophisticated. Um, in the 19th century, there were some very, very sophisticated traveling dark rooms that photographers would wheel around to make plates. And in the modern time, some people have made some very interesting traveling dark rooms. Uh, I've seen trailers turn into essentially full-scale dark rooms on wheels. I have seen smaller dark rooms built to be hauled around behind bicycles. I have seen very well done, well designed wooden dark boxes that are built to mount in the back of cars. However, you don't have to put a ton of money or effort into getting started with a dark box. So at its most basic level, a dark box can be as simple as a cardboard box. As a matter of fact, I processed my first plates in a cardboard box sitting on top of a folding table in my apartment building's garage with just a black sheet thrown over my head to keep light from getting into the box. Now, if you want to use a cardboard box, it's also recommended that you get some kind of rod that you can extend behind you to kind of hold a shroud over your entire body. Uh, broomsticks and dowels work great for that. If you want to get a little bit more sophisticated, but you don't want to spend a ton of money, my favorite dark box design, which is good for sizes up to about 5 by 7 is called the Bastard Box. It is originally by Gerald Fiegel, the creator of the Clodian Bastards website and Facebook group, and he named it accordingly. The beauty of the Bastard Box is that you don't have to do any of the work of building a light-type box because a company called Bin Warehouse has already done it for us. Bin Warehouse makes these file storage bins. Um, you can buy, I believe, a pack of four of them for about $80 on Amazon. And they come from the factory light tight. Now, the entire thing folds down very thin. Uh, I have no problem wedging this into the side of my wagon when I shoot wet plate out in the field. But it folds up into a pretty good-sized dark box. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what this looks like when it's fully expanded. Sides of the box do this kind of half accordion fold. Now you'll see that on mine I have put changing bag arms and a window in the front. It has a nice black coated kind of cardboardish material bottom that fits in here. And it comes with a lid, which is light tight. 
has black material on the inside. And all you have to do is cut the top out and replace it with some rubylith or some red acrylic. So you get a nice safe light in there that won't fog your plates. At that point, you can just load things into the box that you're going to work with. Then you put the lid on. And then you stick your hands in through the changing bag arms and that will enable you to lean over the box and work on your plates. The one piece of advice I would give for using a box like this is to get yourself a nice wide brimmed hat because when you're working in the, in the field outdoors, this translucent surface on the top will tend to glare. So the brim of your hat will cut the glare in the portion that you're looking through, make it easier to see your plates as you're working with them. And that is very briefly how dark boxes work. Um, you can of course design yourself a much fancier dark box, but if you're looking for something that works well, that's very compact and doesn't take a lot of investment in money or effort, the bastard box is a great choice. Until the next time, Good luck shooting.